it, it's about scaling. Uh, many people say about uh, scaling things up, it's always complicated. And I just want to make an example because, of course, you can also scale up your Postgres database. And you just have several instances and have a proxy in front and have your data sharded and so on. But the really problem about the scaling up is the operations. What happens if one server goes down? So let's take this example. You have three documents, you distribute it on your cluster, and in this case, they equally just distribute on those three servers. And of course, you want to have, um, so these are the original documents. You, of course, want to have copies, you want to have replicas on the servers as well in case something goes wrong. So now one server goes down, and of course, you don't, you can't access C anymore, the document C, because it's down. So you just go to the admin interface, click one button, and say, activate the replicas. So now the C replica gets activated, and now you have access to this document again. You have to imagine it's a live application. You have thousands of users accessing it, and it basically just keeps on running smoothly. It might be just a, yeah, a short downtime when the server goes down, but once you say, activate the replicas, it runs smoothly further, and you don't have any downtime. The system just keeps on running. And then, of course, you say, well, I now have not a backup of C anymore, and if something bad happens, I might lose data. So therefore, you just click another button, it gets reshuffled again. So now we have two servers, you have the copies on the different machines. So again, if one server would go down, you still have access to all the data, and the operation is just smoothly running all the time. But now, to the point, this talk is about GeoCouch. Um, I don't want to say what I wanted to say this slide, so I keep on going. Uh, GeoCouch works with Apache CouchDB and with CouchBase. But of course, as CouchDB has different goals than CouchBase has, also I see the, the goals for GeoCouch in different spots. So for Apache CouchDB, I see the point of publishing fast. As I said, you just store your documents as JSON, and um, I was on a project where they had the data in Excel spreadsheets. So it just extracted some or get into JSON, and then you put it in your CouchDB, build your index on it, build an OpenLayers application that would access the, the JSON. You can even put the, the um, OpenLayers application in your CouchDB, and you're done. That's it. You don't need any Geo server or any other application server in between. This is all you need to do. This is what I mean with publish fast. And this is where I want to see GeoCouch being used. Because it's so often that uh, um, government agencies just won't have a quick way on publish the data they already have. But setting up the whole stack just takes a lot of time, a lot of knowledge, and yeah. Couchbase, as I said, is about scaling up. So this is really, I want to be um, a distributed, high, highly scalability geodatabase. Um, this is basically what I said in, in the um, example in the beginning. If you have set a LED imagery, big data, and you want to index this, this is where you would use Couchbase for it. And what features does a uh, GeoCouch support? It's, again, funny uh, that we had the talk previously from MongoDB because it's kind of the same. GeoCouch doesn't support many features, but I, would, I agree with you that to say that this is probably 80% of the use cases. And it's for the same reasons, because yeah, it's just easier to scale up if you don't have so many features, and it's just yeah, simpler, therefore faster, and so on. So we have our geometry types, so we can store polygons, points, line strings, everything that GeoJSON supports. And on the query side, you, of course, have bounding box search. And this is already probably 50% of the applications. You just have a web mapping application and want to show something from a database. Then there's polygon search. This is currently not in, couch, in the Couchbase version, but in the Apache CouchDB version. It's on a private branch. So what I want to say is it's finished, it's done, and it works but it might be some effort to get it running if you want to play with it. Um, it uses, in the background it uses Geos because Geos does the hard work, it's existing working, and yeah, there's no point of re-implementing it myself. Um, then there is Cuneus Neighbor Search. This one also works, but it's kind of a sad story because it's implemented, but I haven't published it yet because um, 
uh, it was actually a student that worked with me together on getting it done, and but um, he ported some code from PostJS to make it on uh, work on, uh, on on a sphere, but he just ported some algorithms from PostJS. PostJS is GPL, yeah. and you might consider that they derived work. So I'm I'm not sure about if I can use it or not, but I just don't want to get into legal trouble. So if you want to have can use neighbor search, contact me, get the code. I'm happy to give it to you, but I just haven't published yet because I couldn't be bothered to think about legal stuff. It will be a problem because you have to, you're under a patent license. Right? Yes. Yeah, you, you, uh, you would have to then re-release your code on your computer. Yeah, but the point is that he, he ported it from, from C to Erlang. So is this still a derived work, or did he just read the algorithms? And so it's, uh, yeah. Anyway, so it's, yeah. Um, yeah. And of course, what the talk really is about is, what I also said at the beginning, is the multidimensional search. This is, yes, ah, okay. And this is currently working uh, with Apache CouchDB only. Um, I will make a release soon, so I wanted to make it for the first for G, but in the train, I haven't had enough time. I, I got those slept in the train. So there will be a release soon. Um, for the new Apache Couch should be 1.4 version, which was released one or two weeks ago, which will then contain the multidimensional search. And I might just put in there the geometry search as well. Um, uh, what multidimensional search means is really you can build up indexes with any numeric value you like. So let's say one dimension is the um, geometry, which is already two dimensions. Then, so this example comes from a trade office, then they want to say, okay, I want all bakeries, which is another dimension, that opened in 2010, which is another dimension, which has a certain size. So we would have a six-dimensional query, and yeah, this is what it supports then. Um, so from a technology perspective, GeoCouch is mostly Erlang. We're currently porting things to C for performance reasons. Um, the algorithms is for the geeks of you. So the singles, uh, uh, single inserts use the revised R tree, R star tree, sorry, uh, which is from the same guy who did the R star tree, which is basically the R tree uh, algorithm you normally use. It's used in Orca Spatial, it's used in PostJS. So this is the way to go, but this is an even better version. And for bulk uh, loading, I use a paper called um, Sort Based Query Adaptive Loading of R trees. Um, I've just put it there so you can uh, click on it and get the paper and read all about the geospatial stuff. It's a really interesting thing, and this is what I currently really uh, this is what I currently implement for the <coughs> C version of uh, GeoCouch. And finally, the future, as I said, it's about scale, it's about performance. So I think I'm really at a point. So I've worked on the project already for five years, and now I think I have a good understanding of R trees. So finally, the performance. My goal is to be faster than PostJS. It should be quite simple. The reason is not because I'm so smart, because again, PostJS does a lot more than GeoCouch does. And if you do a lot more, of course you have a lot more overhead. So it shouldn't be too hard to be faster. Um, I want to use an LSMR tree. There is already a paper from 10 years ago about it. And there's an upcoming paper in, it was promised to be out <coughs> in October, from a university in California that does the LSM R tree. It, from the source code, it looks promising. I'm keen to read the paper. Um, this is what I really want to implement it in. Um, yeah. Then uh, for the geometry stuff, I use Geos, but I'm not happy about it, as many of the people, because this LGPL is always an issue. And I really want, hopefully, can gather people to just create another geometry uh, library that doesn't that use some BSD or MIT. Uh, license and doesn't have the l l limitations because, yeah, it just sucks. Um, and one thing is that the multidimensional index also supports um, strings, so you can also, for example, search for rest data. This is, as far as I'm concerned, an unsolved problem. I've never seen a hypercube with supp which supports strings. So if anyone heard of a hypercube that supports Unicode, let me know. And of course, um, as it's called GeoCouch, it should do spherical calculations. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>